got another question from Greg in Houston. Um, another Greg who's also from Houston. Um, he says, I'm an avid scuba diver and instructor. As a diver, do you feel that your scuba training or experience has had a direct influence on your level of preparedness for space flight? And have a safe journey. Well, thanks a lot for the question and the good wishes. Um, absolutely, completely. It, it, um, in, in, um, in really funny ways that I didn't expect. Um, you know, it's also the same thing for uh, uh, spacewalk training. You know, we, you know, we do that training underwater. Uh, you know, in Houston, and um, you know, you there, there may be a tendency to try to kick. You know, when you're wearing a spacesuit underwater, um, obviously it's not going to do any any good up here. Um, but it certainly um, has made a big difference in fam you know familiar familiarity with that environment uh, for training. But up here inside the space station, I've really noticed it too. Um, you know that the funny thing working in, in zero g, it's really convenient. You can do things you couldn't possibly do. You can get in positions you couldn't possibly get in to do a task. And when you start thinking in three d, uh, you come up with you know a better way to do something. Um, uh, you know you, it's good if you can you know, keep that in mind and allow yourself the you know the freedom to uh, do something a different way. Because up here you have different options for doing the same task. But in the same way, scuba diving, um, if you've ever done under, I'm sure you have, any underwater uh, photography, um, it's a similar kind of thing that, you know, let's say you're trying to take a picture of something underwater, you know, your, your face is in the camera, you're holding things with your hands, um, so you don't have your hands free all the time to grab onto things, the current is pushing you, and you're trying to hold your body position, hold the camera still, take the picture, and get the tech, get it done before you know you, you turn too far. The current pushes you too far. You have to readjust everything. It's very much like that up here in, in zero G. You're trying to do something, and um, you know you, you push on something that to, to get something done. It moves your body a different way. And you're trying to finish the job before you're completely upside down and backwards, and, and you have to start all over again. So um, uh, so actually, like underwater photography, you know, for example, is good good training for this. Um, but it is really neat too. Also, I think you know, uh, scuba diving. You, you're, you're used to different orientations and and feeling comfortable, you know, um, uh, maneuvering in different orientations. And um, so I, I kind of already felt comfortable with that, you know, um, uh, floating around here. Although I think the adaptation up here happens really fast, and uh, and floating up here is awesome. It's, uh, it's 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 even now three months into it, it's a blast. <laughs>